What's up? Yo. <laughs> it's J-Man right over here. And I'm the jokester. And we're back once again to read another story that the J-Man has written. Another episode of his ongoing series, The Koopalings and Bowser Jr. Show. Which is, of course, a prequel series to the Super Mario Brothers games that centers on the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. and what their lives were like before they were evil. All that. Oh. Yeah, bro. Rayman. Archie. Rock. Cover. Chip. Jam. <laughs> wow. It helps to be heart shaped. Well, it's still kind of heart shaped. Yeah, this is the uh, <coughs> this is the friendship gem or the friendship rock, which you, we've shown off previously. We were just starting this video, and Jayman said, "Hey, grab the friendship rock. Let everybody know we still have it because we're still the best of friends, right?" Hi. <laughs> If fall are you so times <laughs> Sometimes you get angry because I'm your stepdad and I gotta do stepdad things like tell you to go to sleep before the sun comes up or tell you you can't have five pounds of ice cream for dinner. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm just trying to look out for you, buddy, because I love you. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's read this story. Episode 36 of Season 5. Yes, J-Man has written five seasons of the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. show. This episode is called Idiot Wendy 2. It's a sequel to Idiot Wendy, which I believe we did a, we did a video. We read that on a previous video. So Morton Koopa Jr. says, Hey, Wendy, do you want to do some cool stuff? <clears throat> His sister Wendy says, Once again, that's an odd question. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, you're not going to use the Dumbifier again, are you? The Dumbifier is an invention of Morton's that allows him to possess his sister. Mm. Morton says, no, of course not. Wendy says, all right, because I'm going to take a little nap. Morton says, well, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite, and if they do, pick up a shoe and knock them black and blue. Um, Morton goes into his room and rummages through his closet. And the Delfino Plaza music from Mario Sunshine, the Super Mario Sunshine, starts playing. Uh, Morton goes into Wendy's room with the dumb of fire and he zaps her and possesses her. Wendy, then when, so Wendy's body is possessed by Morton and she says, I'm free, now I can do some cool stuff. Wendy eats 3,000 danishes, sucking them in like a vacuum cleaner. How long, would some, how long would it take to eat 3,000 danishes like that? Probably a couple minutes, huh? <laughs> then, uh, she, now this, this is a little, this is a, a, a weird, this is a little strange. Then, Wendy shoots a banana like a gun. She holds a banana like a gun, and it magically flies out of her hand. And it crashes through the window of the Brutals, who are the evil rabbits from um, Mario Odyssey. And the banana, the banana crashes through the window and it sticks in the wall at the Brutal's house. And the Leprechaun Brutal starts shouting, It's the end of the world! <clears throat> and all the Brutals start running around in circles, screaming. <laughs> the Brutals are kind of weird. They, I don't understand if they're... Are the Brutals all related? Are they like brothers and sisters? Do you know? They all dress. They all they're all kind of dressed like they're um, gonna get on the Titanic. They all they're wearing like old timey clothes. Um, I don't. And one of them is a leprechaun. I don't understand what their deal is. Uh, meanwhile, Wendy goes to Koopa's Tacos, and she goes up to the counter and says, "Hello, Cooper. I would like three tacos with cheese, lettuce, meat, and also some jalapenos. And put extra jalapenos on the side." <laughs> I'd also like a side of rice and a side of cheese and a large diet Dr. Koopa. Oh, and also some chips. Koopa says, all right, here you go. Wendy says, here's five cents and ten dollars. 
Cooper says, thank you. Please come again. Thank you, says Wendy. Uh, Wendy starts eating all of his food. Wendy eats the jalapenos and the rest of her food with no problem. So Bowser Jr. walks by and he sees Wendy eating all the food. And he starts yelling, ah, Wendy's eating like a pig. I think Morton used the dumbifier on her again. A junior walks in and he, uh, he, he uh, pulls Morton out of Wendy. Because <laughs> Junior is sort of like an exorcist. Uh, and Morton says, listen, Wendy, I'm sorry for my reaction. Wendy's furious. She beats him up and the classic fighting cloud appears over them. Junior throws the dumbifier at the wall and it breaks. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Pretty wild. So Mo I don't. So is Morton not allowed to go yeah. to restaurants? Because in both these stories, he uses the dumbifier to possess his sister, and then he just. He's so wild to go to restaurants. Then why does he need to possess Wendy? Why is he possesses his sister, and the first thing he does is go to a restaurant? Why does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Nobody knows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. But not before we take the whole thing and wrap that in a Chicago-style deep dish meat lovers pizza. Pizza. Now that's what I call a taco. Well, it's not a taco town taco until we roll it up in a blueberry pancake, dip it in batter, and deep fry it until it's golden brown. Then we serve it all in a commemorative tote bag filled with spicy vegetarian chili. It's 15 great tastes all rolled into one. Taco town!